My name is Dr. Corey Eddy. I earned my PhD in Bermuda studying the invasive lionfish. The point of my dissertation was to investigate the ecological impact that lionfish might have on the coral reef system here. I looked at a number of different things including their abundance and distribution. We wanted to know where we find the lionfish in the greatest numbers across the island. I also looked at their life history so we can find out how fast they grow, how quickly they mature, and different characteristics of their reproduction, such as how many eggs they may spawn at each event and how often throughout the year that they are spawning. And the most important few chapters of my dissertation were investigating the lionfish feeding ecology. So we did work with stomach contents to see what critters we were found that they ate, and also a little bit more technical stuff using stable isotopes to look at a few more uh, ecological relationships in a bit more detail. They eat everything. If it fits in their mouth and it looks like food, they're going to eat it. So we've known that they're a generalist predator and that basically anything's on the menu. But our research shows that the diet is even more broad than we expected. We found something of numbers along 40 different fish species and nearly 20 different crustacean species. We found slipper lobsters, we found squat lobsters, we found so many different crabs, but again, every fish from puffer fish to barbers to grunts and small snappers and parrotfish. We just, we knew it, we were expecting it, but the numbers we saw were just staggering. There's really nothing safe out there on the reef. If it swims or crawls or moves and if it looks like a dinner or a lunch or a breakfast, the lionfish are going to eat it. And from 1,500 lionfish, we just found an amazing number of different species that were being consumed. And it's alarming, and it's concerning, and it really sort of reinforces why we need to worry about the lionfish and do everything we can to control them. So from the work we've done in the past couple years, we get the idea that lionfish are more abundant along Bermuda's South Shore. And that's actually a convenient fact for our lionfish hunters. We have a tremendous group of very active and very successful hunters who get in the water from the South Shore. Some of them have boats, some of them go right from the beach, and we have a few dive shops along the same area. And that just means our effort is concentrated in the spots where the lionfish are most abundant. So our hunters can get in and make a big impact on these lionfish populations pretty easily year round. With that in mind, we've also seen an interesting scenario where it appears lionfish are more abundant in deep water during the summer, but then more abundant in shallow water during the winter. And again, it makes for an interesting scenario. In the summertime, they might be a little more hard to find because we have longer days of sunlight where the lionfish tend to tuck up and hide in the reefs, but in the deep water they're abundant, so we have a great couple teams of technical divers that can catch lionfish in huge numbers in deep water in the summer. But once the seasons roll around and as fall comes in, we find that the lionfish are moving into shallow water so that from maybe October all the way until the end of April, our lionfish hunters can make a huge impact on the lionfish population just going from shore. So this, this switch that lionfish appear to go through makes it very easy for our lionfish hunters to have an impact. And even though they might be out of reach in the summer, they're very accessible through the winter where our dedicated people are catching them often. One of our primary objectives of the Lionfish Task Force is to get the general public involved. And that's not just hunting lionfish, but that's spreading the word and spreading awareness and education. I think our first line of defense is the Bermuda Lionfish Culling Program. It's actually a government permit. Where any Bermuda resident can spend $20 on the fee, take an hour-long lecture, learn about the lionfish, learn about the problem, get certified, and then they can get in the water the next day with the regulation spear and start catching lionfish. And with that effort, we have more and more people involved. We have more people in the water catching lionfish, taking them home for dinner, telling their friends about it, getting their friends and family involved. And as that sort of snowballs, we have more and more people involved, more and more people aware, and more and more people contributing to help us fight the lionfish.